Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, Vladimir Klitschko, um, Anthony Joshua, the whole fight kind of has fallen apart, and now we're hearing that basically uh, Vladimir Klitschko is trying to fight Lucas Brown on December 10th, and this caused quite a stir with uh, Joseph Parker's promoter, um, Dean Lornigan. I think it's Lornigan. I think they say his name, Dean Lornigan. Anyway, it caused quite a stir with Joseph Parker's promoter. And, you know, obviously the fight I want to see for Joseph Parker is more so against Anthony Joshua than anybody else. But um, his promoter brought some very good points in this regarding the Klitschko thing. Here's what, he, here's what he had to say in regards to Vladimir Klitschko. He said, I quote, I can see the Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko fight falling up, falling over for a variety of reasons. And Klitschko is going to, t to take the soft option of fighting in Hamburg against Lucas Brown. Um, that just goes to show that Klitschko has passed it and he shot. He had the opportunity to make a massive comeback and a massive statement against one of the young Lions. If he passes on the fight, on that fight, he also has the opportunity to take on the other young Lion of the division in Joseph Parker, but he's not. He's taking the softest option possible, and I think it's a disgrace that they couldn't finish that Joshua deal for the sake of boxing and his own credibility. Um, and then, yeah, that's really what it was. So I'm with, I'm with Joseph Parker's promoter. Um, obviously, the last sentence today, I really agree with it. He, it's where he said, "I think it's a disgrace that they couldn't finish that Joshua deal for the sake of boxing and his own credibility." Like, boxing's in a place right now, guys, where you know, post me with the pack, y'all. There's a huge, there's a huge hangover here in America. Um, pay-per-view wise people don't want to shell out money to watch these fights uh, unless it's they really see that it's worth it and boxing has been relegated to a niche sport even more so since me with the Pacquiao now obviously this fight wasn't going to take place in America between Klitschko and Joshua but I think that fight getting made would have had a positive impact on the sake of American boxing because Americans like heavyweights. This is what it is, man. America is a country. It's a country that's obsessed with size. And as much as I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna make my one-hour videos about Romo Gonzalez and why he's pound for pound number one and why Andre Ward's resume doesn't stack up to him and why his resume is uh, why he's one of the better pound for pound fighters in the history of boxing, you know, why I can do all that about Romo Gonzalez. The fact of the matter is, the odds are Romo Gonzalez is not going to ever be a huge crossover star like that because he can't speak English and he's a flyweight fighter. But that being said, you know. A fight like Klitschko, Joshua, if Joshua is to be Klitschko and he becomes megastar, then that, that puts him in a position to maybe fight Deontay Wilder in a, in a huge heavyweight super fight. And that's what would bring boxing in America back um, as far as in, in, from a mainstream standpoint and, and, and make it more popular again here. Um, which in turn would be a great for the whole, for all, for boxing as a whole. Because if, if boxing is, pop, is popping off here like it was, let's say, like in the 90s, then, you know, that's a win for just everybody involved due to the fact that America is the entertainment capital of the world. Yes, we have a lot of great fights going on in the UK. They're doing great numbers out there, but I'm saying they're going to do that regardless. UK fans are great and they're very loyal supporters. But when you have the American fans along with the UK fans, boxing as a whole is winning. So that's that's that's, that's why I agree with Parker's promoter. Um, Klitschko, man, I, I, look, I love Klitschko as far as I respect him. I want to say I love him. I, I, I respect Klitschko because... As you guys know, I'm very, I live very close to the heavyweight factory um, here in South Florida. I go there frequently. Um, and Klitschko hasn't been at the heavyweight factory, at least to my knowledge. Probably, maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. But he hasn't been at the heavyweight factory since I've been going there um, in quite some time. But one of the first times I did go there, I got to watch him train. I got to see what his focus is like in the gym. And I really do have respect for, for Vladimir Klitschko. Not a huge fan of his fighting style. I think he's rather boring. And he has a tendency to not box within the rules sometimes, but he's a great heavyweight champion who has not got the credit he does deserve. Um, on my opinion, you know, he did beat a lot of really good fighters such as Chris Bird, Lamont Brewster, uh, Calvin, the boxing banker Brock. Uh, you know, just a, a ton of guys, man. Uh, 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 he's, he's a good fighter, and, and I think you know a win, a win against Anthony Joshua. Let's say he goes there at 40 years old, 40, however old he is, um, after coming off. That loss to Fury. If he goes in there and he takes the O from an undefeated Joshua, that, you know, I already think he's, he's a, the 10th best heavyweight ever. To me, that would cement his place as in the top 10 best heavyweights of all time. 
Um, but the fight didn't happen, and he's supposed to fight Lucas Brown now, and I'm not excited about it. I'm not really too high on Lucas Brown. Uh, so I'm kind of I'm, I'm, I'm upset about it. I'm upset for the fight not happening. I really thought that Eddie Hearn and, 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 and K2 and all the parties involved would, would get the fight done, and it's not happening. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's boxing. It's, it's been the story of this year. Fights falling through the cracks. Uh, promoters telling us that the match, certain matches will be made, and for whatever reason, they don't get made. So it is what it is, man. But let me, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Vladimir Klitschko took the easy way out of this fight um, because he's past his prime and he's shot as a shot fighter, and that's why he's trying to fight Lucas Brown on December 10th? Let me, let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.